I'm back. I had run out briefly to um, that parking court. Um, I'm sorry, traffic court hearing that I was telling you about and sat down to make an intention before beginning again because there had been some some dark um, messing with my phone, shutting it off while I was out, for example. I came home. As soon as I plugged it in, it shot to 6%. So again, with the 6 I had been thinking prior to that um, about, because I mentioned that boyfriend, Joey. I don't know if I mentioned at six, you know, my first, first fake real boyfriend um, was named John. And then I had been thinking that maybe that had to do something with the universal energy of six and the cosmic energy of 12, um, since one was at age six and one was at age 12. And um, that maybe that's what they were messing with my phone because I had come to that little aha moment. Not sure exactly what it's related to, but I had thought about that while I was out. And I was going to make a big intention. Turned on my phone to uh, start going over some things and sit down here to do this. And a briefing, one of those news briefings for which I am not signed up, but uh, have been popping up on my phone lately to send me messages, um, came across the screen. I tried to take a screenshot of it and the page changed. So that was the dark interfering again. So I just made a very short intention so that I'd be able to speak to you. And I'm going to have to deviate from what I was talking about for a second, um, deviate slightly because it's related. Um, it has begun. Everything has begun on Thursday, the 19th. Um, as I had been feeling something would occur or this would begin, that's when Osiris rises. That's what I named the video that I put up um, yesterday for today or early this morning for today, uh, the 20th. Uh, there was a plane crash, an Egypt Air flight, flight number 804 or 12, uh, which crashed in the Mediterranean with 66 people, 12, but again, the sixes as well aboard on Thursday has been found by Egyptian forces, the military says. Here's what we know so far. Passenger belongings and aircraft parts were found 180 miles north of Alexandria. Nine, the military says. Plane swerved sharply, then plunged 37,000 feet to 10,000 feet. One, one. After entering Cairo airspace, Greek officials say, cause of crash is more likely terrorism than technical fault, perhaps. Egyptian and U.S. officials believe. Um, Airbus A320-5 um, Major circumstances, life-altering circumstances beyond our control, like the Tower 5, made stops in Eritrea and Tunisia, North Africa, prior to taking off from Paris. Are you in the area? You can share your experiences with the, with the news. Okay. Um, on a much lighter news-related um, note... It was reported on 516 this year, equals 111, that Buju Banton, who I mentioned in an earlier video and who is a dance hall artist, a very spiritual dance hall artist from Kingston as well, I believe. Um, not just, you know, he's from Jamaica, definitely. But I believe he's specifically from Kingston, as I mentioned Tony, Tony Matterhorn is. Um, that he will be released from jail early. I think that that is something um, that I was to make note of. Okay, so let me try to get back to this. Oh boy, I just, I bowed my head for those people because I'm, I'm, you know, again, there's, I'm sure, there was, I'm sure, some of everybody on that plane, some good people, some bad people, and perhaps that is what, to what peace offering refers white buffalo calf woman because as I mentioned this was the card that repeated days before Prince's death and on and during as well 
um, the Prince of Freedom video. It's about a sacrificial lamb. So, you know, again, I, I pray for all those souls. I, I told you it makes me sad when I see souls going in the wrong direction. Um, so I pray for the dark souls as well that I don't know. <laughs> But I did bow my head to my, bow my head for all of them, everybody uh, on the plane, their families, everybody impacted, people living in the area that may be impacted. Because I know how that is to live in an area where there's been, you know, destruction. Um, you know, it spread. It's the the ramifications spread. Okay, let me try to get myself back together. So. I think at one point I had mentioned or began to mention that I visited yesterday the twin flame couple. Um, not even sure they know they're a twin flame couple. I'm not going to tell them that, but I, I know they are. And went in just for some smudges and bought a ton of stuff. So I got these new um, crystals. And then I got, because I had all this river, river and bridge stuff in my head, raw river quartz amethyst and rose quartz so this is how it looks when it's been tumbled naturally as opposed to a machine and it's still pretty much raw but polished only in some areas again naturally So, for example, this is rose quartz that's been tumbled by a machine and polished. Um, this is clear quartz that's been tumbled by a machine and polished. And I bought a hamster. I don't know if you remember me um, talking about the hamster in relation to Jainism or perhaps Jainism. It was the hand, the palm, um, yeah, the hand in the palm. I might, so this is a sterling silver necklace that I purchased from them and of, of a hamsa. And it has a blue sapphire in the center of the palm. So I also wear a sterling silver necklace with a Isis charm hanging from it. It's mm -hmm. Isis with her eagle wings, her eagle angel wings are spread. And for Mother's Day from my oldest daughter, a sterling silver necklace with a double-sided glass, I guess, or perhaps some sort of gem, maybe zircon, not cubic zirconia, but zircon is a real stone. Um, and I'm feeling it now, so perhaps this is zircon, not glass. And around it is silver to hold the two stones together, the two heart-shaped stones. And in between them is purple pressed flowers. So that's my violet hanging around my neck. My violet, Isis, and my hamsa. Okay. So I get to traffic court. Well, first I couldn't find the letter. And typically Archangel Chamuel gives me everything that I'm looking for. In his defense, I did not ask him. I don't remember asking him, Chamuel, can you give me the, find me the letter um, that I need? And you guys should do that also. If you, you know, misplace something, call on Archangel Chamuel to help you find it. Um... So I didn't do that. Instead, I did a 3D thing. I called 311, which is like the non-emergency phone number for New York City, and was eventually transferred to somebody who was able to verify that, yes, I did have an appointment today. Um, and, you know, so that's where, it, <laughs> that's where it began to go downhill because um, I figured if I wasn't meant to go, then it would have just like disappeared. And I don't know if I 
manifested that again by not doing it properly by not asking for Archangel Chamuel's help by not you know calling on anyone um, prior to my going or if it was just yeah so I don't know if I manifested that or if it's God's will but before I go any further with that story I'm being told to mention that also on a happier note with regard to the 19th that we've been getting messages both in the form of comments directly on the videos as well as you know emails and other things that masculines that had been out of contact for months even uh, in fact did begin to return on the 19th uh, suddenly there was a knock on the door or you know a ring on the phone so that brings us joy absolutely okay so back to this this story so now I, I gotta go to the traffic court I'm not getting out of it so easily I get there um, walk in and I can feel the energy of the officer that pulled me over. So I noticed that it's him. The reason I wasn't sure is because I never looked at him. At the time when this, when I got this ticket, it was back in like September. Again, it was when Pope Francis was here. Supposedly I ran a red light, but traffic was nonstop. I mean, you know, it was, was at a standstill the entire time that Pope Francis was here. So you couldn't run a light if you wanted to. You couldn't speed if you wanted to. Cops were everywhere directing the traffic and not just traffic cops, but, you know, standard issue NYPD was directing the traffic and I'm sure, you know, ensuring the safety of the Pope and, you know, his entourage or whatever. So anyway, and I think Obama may have come into town around the same time, at least on one of the days as well. So anyway, I got to go and I get there and I feel the guy. So I sit down and I'm waiting and then people or other people are being called. Finally, just before me, a gentleman is called. His last name is my twin's first name. He loses. I'm like, oh, shit, here we go. Um, I'm not supposed to win this. And again, I don't know if I met, was manifesting that with that thought. Um, but I get up. I tell my whole story. The cop has to look in notes. He leaves out information um, that's ver that the judge verifies later based on what I said. You know, I made some statements and then he looked in his book and he's like, oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. And then the judge said, <laughs> you lose basically. Um, and he said, but no points on your license. And I just said, oh, wonderful. You know, I didn't get upset. And I, like I said, I hadn't even looked at the cop because I was going into that. Around that same time, you know, it was, that was during like open season on black people. I mean, you know, people get killed all, all the time. Uh, people of all colors and creeds get killed all the time by, you know, the man, quote unquote, the man. But every summer into fall, there's like a major open season on black people where, you, where it's like almost every day you hear that one was, you know, killed or disappeared or something um, in connection with some kind of contact with an officer of some type. So that was around the time of Sandra Bland, who had been in a sim simple traffic stop as well. Again, the Pope is here. All these cops got their guns at the ready. They're amped up. They want to, you know, do something. I wasn't you know, in the mood to be, um, and I guess that was God, I, you know, the universe, I wasn't in the mood to be hyped that day, so I didn't say a word, he's talking to me, I didn't answer, I looked straight ahead, I didn't look at him, I put my hand out the window for the ticket, I drove off, so I had never looked in his face, that was my, the point of going into all that, but I felt that it was him, and sure enough, it was, and I lost, so he charges me a fine, the judge, of over $200, I think close to $300. And I'm just smiling and laughing the whole time. I know I'm not going to have to pay this. Um, so I guess, you know, perhaps that I am mess, um, manifesting or I'm, you know, I just came into a knowing that God's not going to have to make, not going to make me have to pay it. So I get to the counter to get my printout so that I can pay it. And sure enough, like the amount adds up to like one, 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 you know, when I, when I look at it finally on this, 
page that the, the um, cashier, so to speak, hands me. The date on which I have to pay it by is 6-3-2016-9-9, um, so 18, so 9. I know I'm not going to have to pay it again with that. I leave. I'm calm. I'm chill. I'm good. I'm cool. And this is pick your battles. Remember the seven of wands, the seven of fire, pick your battles. We don't have to get hyped up over each and every single one of them. So I go to take the train. And I'm not really a train people person. I drive almost everywhere. And if I'm not driving, I walk, you know, and I don't care how far the walk is. Um, those are, I guess, the two, my, my two most enjoyed forms of travel. But I decided to take the train. And I go down into this subway and I swipe my Metro card. I don't remember what the balance started at, but it ended at uh, 7.34, so 7.7. And this is right after 9-9. Nine, nine. This is my divinity showing. I go through the turnstile and walk to... Ahead of me is an escalator, as opposed to the, the numerous staircases in the subway stations, is an escalator. On either side, the walls are tiled with red tile, so like Mars. <laughs> and I'm going up. So again, I'm being elevated. I'm going all the way up. And there's, you know, I'm being surrounded by, you know, these shiny, polished red tiles as I go up. And I would have taken a picture of that, but my phone was dead, you know, m mysteriously. Okay, so that's that story. Um, one sec. I want to read two ISIS cards and then perhaps the songs that I was told was related to this. Um, this morning during my drive, of course, not while I was home and inconvenient and I could have written them down or done it right away while I was driving. Um, go over those and then in there in anticipation of I'm going to have to do another video. Hopefully the next one can be shorter because I've already mentioned um, all if you know, most, if not all of what I believe I was being instructed to mention. Um, yeah, because I think this one's gonna be rather long, but I'm doing what I was told. Here's the ISIS card. And perhaps the, you know, the, something having to do with the crash will be reflected here as well, I don't know. So far, Pyramid of Light is on the bottom. That's the card that she keeps showing us. And healing the divine masculine, Osiris rises again. So if these turn out to be the ultimately the cards, then I won't read them again since I've been reading them the past couple of days. <laughs> healing the divine masculine, Osiris rises. I just opened to High Priestess. I'm going to shuffle this way one more time and then cut and then pick two and again if they're the same ones i won't do it high priestess is on the bottom again okay there's our five i was doing fives for a positive you know well um, i can't judge as to whether or not this was positive it's the universe's work uh the crash but you know i was doing fives for more happy uh, based on my opinion and my feelings my sentiments more happy uh you know life altering changes At the bottom of the deck is Truth Unveiled. Truths Unveiled, the revelation of Isis, which is uh, kind of ironic, right? Because uh, with me being a uh, lower version of the goddess Isis and this being my revelations video, or at least the first 
of my Revelations videos. The Revelation of Isis. There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are truly deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you. When you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you, you may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears. It is wise to trust your inner feeling rather than to be convinced by outward appearance. There is a situation in your life, especially involving relationships, where something is not as it is being made out to be. To avoid undue suffering later on, Isis guides you to truth and revelation now. And that reminded me that the reason I had mentioned my necklaces is because I could feel the judge looking at them. And I, one of the first things that I said to him when I approached is um, that I remember exactly what happened because it was the day the Pope visited. And of course, I had no notes as opposed to this cop. And I remembered verbatim what went down. And I could feel, feel him looking at my neck. So I think that he was of the dark, as are, are many officers. And I don't say that to offend any police officers that are out there or officers of any type. Um, again, I have a lot of respect, particularly for the military, as I am a soldier. But in the um, actual wars, my father fought in Vietnam um, and then, you know, went on from there still during G Vietnam to Germany. My husband was in Desert Storm, you know, so I don't, I don't mean any offense against any of these things. Um, but um, this is about, it, as I keep saying, things like envy, gluttony, greed. So in other words, the man big pharma, big bank, big government um, authority. And all of these times um, in history where there have been a lot of these wars in the name of God, um, there were officers involved, right? The Nazis were officers. The slave overseers were officers that's where the word officer comes from from that's from where it comes overseers of slaves the people that used to beat them um you know i can go on but any any time throughout history particularly the people that are supposed to be the good guys that are you know supposed to be helping you and providing you with safety have been on the wrong end as a as an institution. So again, I'm not talking about individuals. And if you are an individual officer of any type, you may want to consider going transitioning into a spiritually based career. Or if you feel comfortable where you are, be the kind of officer uh, like Olivia on SBU, and you know maybe as a nod to Mount Olive. Okay, so I went on another tangent with truths unveiled. Let's see what we, what else we have. Okay. This is enter the chamber of healing, healing in the divine chamber with the lady Isis. So I think I read this twice this weekend. And what do we have here? Soul retrieval. So I have read this before, but I'll read it again because I, I think it's been a few weeks. Deep soul healing with the goddess. Soul retrieval. Deep soul healing with the goddess. Isis, healing goddess, now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval. Reclaiming pieces of what you lost through trauma, old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power, as well as the opening of gifts and soul abilities you did not know you had. And that reclaiming pieces reminded me of one of the things that led me to the water, that aha moment 
and the bridge is, other than the bridge is over, um, was the fact that Osiris had been cut in pieces and retrieved, like this soul retrieval, all but his phallus, as we recall. So because of that, there was some sort of uh, like a law based on the practices there that there was a time of day or time of month or year or whatever where they didn't eat fish because the penis was supposedly eaten by a particular type of fish. And I didn't look that up. I just, you know, I would have maybe in the next video I'll um, have the story in front of me. But you could Google it because it is something like that. I'm sure I got it pretty close. Um, okay. The songs. Well, before that, let me read High Priestess too. Um, the one they kept turning up on the bottom. High Priestess. Mysteries revealed in the eyes of Isis. Beloved Isis gazes upon you now. And behind her vast eyes, mysteries are unveiled. A new clarity around your direction is unfolding. Be willing to wait for the full reveal, but also recognize what is happening at this time. You will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for what purpose. It is an exciting moment in your unfoldment. Have reverence and an open heart and mind and wait patiently for the grand revelation. There we go with that word again, revelation, that is on its way. Very nice. Okay, so now to these songs. The first one is all about the Benjamins um, by Puff Daddy, and I'm going to presume that that re is as it relates to, I was just saying that this is about, you know, big business, big money, big pharma, big religion, big everything, all the constructs, you know, that come from them, all of the hurt that they have caused throughout history to, you know, people. These are industries that made their money on the backs of the people we've been discussing, the people mentioned in the Beatitudes, the meek, the pure of heart, the faithful, okay, the chosen who are, you know, to inherit the earth. Okay, it's all about the Benjamins. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Now, what y'all want to do? Want to be ballers, shot callers, brawlers? So I think that's about the choice we've been asked to make, the direction we've been asked to, um, you know, decide upon which way we're going to go, the way we're being led or something else altogether. And I'm getting confirmation of that with do you want to ride or die? So from Hail Mary, like I said, I was supposed to go a little further into that. Do you want to ride or die? It's, it's about the, the choice, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that was Hail Mary, of course, by, by Tupac. And I'm also hearing, and that's why I'm a little bit out of it. I mean, I'm getting a few things right now. I'm also hearing Bone Thugs in Harmony, meet me at the crossroads so you won't be lonely. So this is again about the choice. I'm um, being reminded as well, there was an another disaster. This one in the United States, I think, I think I remember re reading Oregon, but don't uh, quote me. However, you can look for this. It was called the May Bridge. It collapsed. May is in the month of May that we're in right now. Five, the universal energy of five. That bridge collapsed. Um, so look it up. I, I again, I think it was Oregon, but I'm I'm not completely positive. And I also want to just clarify the statements I made about my husband and my father, because I I think I rattled those out quickly, and I want to be clear as to what their <clears throat> connection to the military was, so as not to um, slight them or disrespect them or anybody else um, who may have been in the military and maybe 
you know, in, in a different position while in the military. So my father was drafted to Vietnam. He is not a combat war veteran, however. He was like me. Um, he was a numbers person. He was made to memorize and break codes. That's what he did in the military, in the Air Force. My husband was first in the reserves, the Army, for like 10 years. And then he went on tour, active duty. And he was going to be a paratrooper. Uh, that was the next thing for him. And again, he spanned across the time of Desert Storm while he was in the military. But he was not a combat veteran either in the military, uh, or in um, Desert Storm, rather. He, um, so yeah, he was there for all that time. He spent the, a total of about 14 years in the Army, either reserve or active. And he, ironically, based on what we've been talking about, broke his, or tore his Achilles tendon playing basketball playing basketball at Fort Leonard Wood in Missouri. So maybe that's going to be something. Maybe there's something in Missouri somewhere thereabouts near Fort Leonard Wood. Because um, I don't know why I'm being made to, to say all that. Um, broke his Achilles tendon. So like Achilles, who I mentioned a couple times earlier, with regard to the Trojan War. And they operated on it there. And thereafter, he was medically discharge because of course you can't jump out of a plane if your Achilles tendon has been torn. Okay, so it's the May Avenue Bridge over Northwest Expressway that collapsed. I'm looking at Coco.com. Apparently that is a local news station in this area of Oklahoma City. Uh, we recall that there were past events in Oklahoma City were considered terrorist events that may have been connected to all of this too. I don't know. Um, Eleven seventeen is the time that this news was updated this morning, CDT time, so Central, uh, May twentieth today, which I already said what number that was, and now it's giving me a hard time. It won't let me like scroll or do anything. So maybe that's what the bridges over means. Maybe bridges are going to be coming down. Maybe it doesn't mean that the bridge is over something. I'm really not sure you're hearing and learning this as I am. As it comes into my head, I'm relaying it to you. It looks like maybe a truck caused the bridge collapse. Truck hits May, May Avenue Bridge causing collapse. Yes, there were no injuries, thank God after a truck driver hit the May Avenue Bridge at Northwest, so that we go at Northwest again, expressway causing it to collapse. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Now, what y'all wanna do? Wanna be ballers, shot callers, brawlers, who be dipping in the bins with the spoilers, on the low from the Jake and the Taurus, Taurus, the sign of Taurus, which uh, today is the last, of which today is the last day. Trying to get my hands on some grants like Horace. Um, where is Horace from? There's a story. There's a Greek story, I believe, with Horace, too. Yeah, living the raw deal. Three-course meal, spaghetti, fettuccine, and veal. So we're bringing Italy in. But still, everything's real in the field. And what you can't have now, leave and you will. Now, that sounds like, you know, what we don't get here, we get in heaven. We, we know, uh, based on what we've each been told, by our spirits separately and shared with each other so we know it to be true collectively, we're getting that paradise, that heaven here on earth. And what you can have now, leave and you will, but don't knock me for trying to bury seven zeros, so that's a lot of God force, over in Rio de Janeiro. Ain't nobody's hero, but I want to be heard on your hot nine seven. 16, 7, every day that's my word. Swimming in women with their own condominiums, 5 plus 5, who drive millenniums, uh, 1,000, 1. It's all about the Benjamins. What? 
I get a 50 pound bag of uh for the mutts, five. Five carrots on my hands with the cuts, five. And something European chromed out with the clutch, what? Next part is Jada Kiss of the Locks, who uh, I read their song the other day, Money, Power, Respect. I want it all figured out. Fuck being a broke nigga, drinking malt liquor, driving a broke vigor. I'm with most sippers, watched by gold diggers. Okay? So people trying to get at you, get, you know, get your money. Rocking Jabot denims with gold zippers. There's more gold, than, like the golden fiber that we are, uh, of which we're made. Lost your touch, we kept ours. Popping crystals, so here's that crystal again. The crystals, which I told you, turned out to be a Kabbalah uh, reference. Freaking three-quarter reptiles, so here's the reptilian. Oh, that's another thing that I walked up to the judge with. I approached the judge with this stuff around my neck and a crocodile Michael, <laughs> Archangel Michael, Kors bag. So, but then again, now that I say that out loud and think about it, he could have been like Archangel Daniel. You know, maybe he was giving me a fine on behalf of the light so that I would end up with this amount, um, you know, that was like one, 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 uh, due on nine, you know, and, and receive a message. Maybe he was, you know, sent to give me a message. Enormous cream, forest green, like the green ray healing binge jeep for my team so while you sleep i'm a scheme we see through like etheric that's why nobody's never gonna believe you you should do what we do stack chips like hebrews don't let the melody intrigue you because i leave you i'm only here for that green paper with the eagle so again more green more healing with an eagle um which represents isis who is of the green ray Emerald Ray. Okay, this is chic now. I'm strictly trying to cop those colossal size Picassos. So here's another reference to Italy. And have Poppy flip Coke outside Delgado's. Mienda with cash flowing like Sosa. So I guess uh, Sammy Sosa there. A Dominican ball player who um, it seems to have perhaps you know, possibly gone astray with regard to who he is and lightened his skin. That's not a judgment. That's just what I've seen on TV. And the Latin chick transporting in a chocha. That's her vagina. Stampeding over pop moles, never sober. Lex and Range Rovers dealing with weight in Minnesota. Did I just mention Minnesota? No, Missouri. Avoiding knocks with camcorders and Chevy Novas. Novas like, um... Comets, <laughs> stars, stash in the building with this chick named Alona from Daytona. I mentioned Daytona either on this video or another one. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, but Daytona Beach was one of the things that came to me uh, um, based on the Easy e reference from Dope Man that kept playing in my head, um, rolling 6-4 with the fresh-ass Daytons. When I was young, I wanted to bone her, but now I only hit chicks that win, that win beauty pageants, tricking and taking me skiing in the Aspens. So this is the Aspen uh, Mountains, Colorado, maybe something's going on over there. A lot of Native Americans there. Gangster Mental, Stay Popping Cristal, that again. Pack a black pistol in the act coupe that's dark brown. Pinky ring in, gondolas. So here's uh, Venice, Italy again with the man singing, Italian music down the river, river again, with your chick clinging to my bizarre's player, you mad falls, acting hard when you as pussy as RuPaul. Okay, the hook, you know, what you want to do, want to be ballers, shot callers, etc. Et and then little Kim comes in, what the blood clot, so that's Jamaican, uh, Patois, want to bumble, want to rumble with the bee, huh? What did I say bees were? Bzzz. Throw a hex on the whole family, dressed in all black like the omen. Have your friends saying, this is for my homies. And you know me for making niggas so sick. Floss in my six. Six again. With the lex on my wrist. So another watch reference. If it's murder, you know she wrote it. German Ruger. Okay, I've been mentioning Germany as being part of this. Those people out there that, you know. 
um, some of them <laughs> chosen for this. Uh, German Ruger for your bitch ass deep throated. No, you want to fill the room because it's platinum coated. Take your pick. Get a firearm. You should have towed it. Um, got a firearm. You should have towed it. Should have brought it with you. Suck a dick. All that bullshit you kick. Play a hating from the sideline like people have been doing uh, with me and perhaps you. Get your own shit while you riding mine. I'm a good fella kind of lady. Mafia. Stash 380s. 11 in Mercedes, puffy hold me down baby, only female in my crew, and I kick shit, like a nigga do, pull the trigger too, fuck you, and then, I been had skills, Cristal spills, so he's mentioning Cristal too, this may be an important reference for us to look further into, I know it, can, it also means crystals, uh, which are very important to this life, to protect yourself, and heal yourself, and who, in, um, in which, Archangel Daniel practiced in the stories, um, is that the book of Enoch? I think it's the book of Enoch, which is Archangel Metatron's um, books. It talks about um, Archangel Daniel being into like um, alchemy and crystals and, uh, you know, other magics. Okay, where was I? I've been had skills, crystal, crystal spills, high bills in Brazil. I mentioned Brazil, my friends that were Brazilian. About a mill, another one with a lot of God for us. The ice grill. Maybe that has to do with Mars. Um, make it hard to figure me. Liquor be kicking me in my asshole. Undercover, Donnie Brasco. Another reference to the Mafia. Left my East Coast girl with the Bentley to twirl. My West Coast shorty pushing the chrome 740. 11 with the zero for God Force. Rocking red man and naughty. Oh, with my kitty cat. Cat. Half a brick, yeah, in the bra where her titties at. And I'm living for that life. We push weight. Fuck the state pen. Fuck hoes at Penn State. Listen close, it's Francis. Francis, St. Francis, the Franciscan, Franciscans, the praying mantis. Okay, so he's making another reference there to the, the insects. Attack with the Mac, my left hand spit. Remember I said my um, left hand was supposed to spit fire in my dream? My left hand spit, right hand, rip on the whip for the smooth getaway. Play as haters, play a haters, get away or my lead will spray. Squeeze off till I'm empty. Don't tempt me. Only to hell I send thee. All about the Benjis. What? This last one is actually Bad Boy 2 or Puff Daddy. He has twins too, doesn't he? I think he does. Um, so, yeah, the first, it starts with Biggie. One. One, two. Check me out here. Yo. Yo, the sun. This is Puffy now. Yo, the sun don't shine forever. Right? Mm-hmm. And then Big comes in. You can turn the track up a little bit for me. But as long as it's here, then we might as well shine together. That's Puffy. Big. All up in my ears. And then Puffy again. Better now than never. Business before pleasure. And that's what I've been explaining about this mission. That we have some work to do before these wonderful, wonderful relationships are, you know, permanent. Fully blossomed. Nothing but love, unconditional love everywhere around you. Uh, big. The mic is loud, but the beats isn't loud. And then Puffy comes back. P. Diddy and the fam, who you know do it better. Yeah, right. No matter what, we airtight. Hmm. Biggie says, yeah. And then Puffy comes back. So when you hear something, make sure you hear it right. Don't make an ass out of yourself by assuming. Biggie, yeah. Now the mic is lower than... Now the mic is lower. Turn the mics up. And then Puffy comes back. Our music keeps you moving. What are you proving? Biggie comes back. Turn that shit all the way up. Yeah. And then Puffy. You know that I'm two levels above you, baby. Uh, so this could be, to me, um, you know, saying even if somebody else is five and you know, does have their own abilities, I'm seven, 
I haven't heard anybody else say that they, they were told by their spirit that they were seven. They may be, and maybe they weren't told to share. Um, what was that? You know that I'm two levels above you, baby. Hug me, baby. I'm going to make you love me, baby. And then Big comes in. This shit is hot. Uh, talking crazy ain't going to get you nothing but choked. That was Puffy. Big. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then um, Puffy. And that jealousy is only going to leave you broke. So the only thing left now is God for these cats. And Big, you know you too hard for these cats. I'm a win because I'm too smart for these cats. While they making up facts, uh, you raking up plats, platinum records. And here's Biggie again in the commission. If the commission is mafia, that's another term for the mafia. You ask for permission to hit them. And we do, you know, we take orders here too. I take orders um, from the universe. He don't like me, him and his wild wifey was with him. You heard of us, the murderers, most shady. Been on the low lately, the feds hate me. The son of Satan, they say my killing's too blatant. You hesitating, I'm in your mama crib waiting, duct taping your fam destiny, lays in my hands, got lays in my waist. Francis, M to the is H, phenomenal. Gun rest under your vest by the abdominal. And maybe another reference to that core area where the soul is. Rhyme a few bars so I can buy a few cars and I kick a few flows so I can pimp a few holes. Excellence is my presence, never tense, never hesitant. Leave a nigga bent real quick, real sick. Brawn nights, I perform like Mike. And that's separate from the last name. Um, but, you know, Archangel Michael there. So I perform like Mike. Anyone. Tyson, Jackson, Jordan. And I'm quick to bust if my ends you touch. Kids or, kids or girl you touch. In this world I clutch. So anything that I hold dear, if you mess with it, it it's going to be a problem. Two auto matos used to call me fatso. Now you call me Castro. So another nod to Fidel, Cuba, those uh, Afro Cubano people out there. My rap flows militant. Y'all faggots ain't killing shit. Oops, Cristal, keep spilling shit. You overdid it, Holmes. You in the danger zone. You shouldn't be alone. Hold hands and say it like me. The most shady, Frankie baby, fantastic, graphic. Trying to make dough like Jurassic. So dinosaurs, more reptiles, um, futuristic stuff, sci-fi. You know, that's our whole life. Uh, like Jurassic Park did quick to spark kids who start shit. See me, only me, the underboss of this holocaust. Truly yours, Frank White. This is Buster Rhymes. We got the real live shit from front to back. To my people of the world, where the fuck you at? Where my niggas is at? Where my bitches is at? Where the fuck my bitches at? Where my bitches is at? We got the real live shit from front to back. Um, that's a call out to the world, right? Saying, wake up, guys. Okay, then Puffy comes back. Put your money on the table and get your math on. Break it down. Split it up. Get your laugh on. See you later, dog. I'm going to get my stash on. There's a bed full of money that I get my ass on. I never lose the passion to go platinum. So he said he has a desire to, to continue to ascend here. Said I'd live it up to all the cash gone. Ain't that funny? Only use plastic, craft it to make classics hotter than acid. PD rolling, rolling again. On your tape a CD, the girl boy killer. Now, I'm not even sure what girl, boy, killer is, but it's girl hyphen boy, as in, you know, both genders simultaneously. Um, no team illa. The famo, ammo, is every channel. Maybe the channels, like mediums, maybe. We've been hot for a long time, burning like a candle. Like <laughs> my candles that continue to burn, whether there's wax and a wick in them or not. And, you know, hot and burning, like fire serpent angels 
what you can do is check your distribution. My songs bump in Houston, like Scarface produced them. Um, Scarface, Columbia, right? Bogota, maybe like the Borgata. Maybe that's what the deal with the Borgata is. Bogota, huh? Okay, I'm thinking here. You guys are helping me. Um, you ain't gotta like me, you just mad because I tell it like it is and you tell it how it might be. Hello, truth versus just, you know, something that I can't substantiate. I'm just going to put it out here and you're going to believe me um, because I said so. You know, I'm not going to give you any news <laughs> directly from, you know, the New York Times or any data directly from NASA. I'm just going to pull something out of my ass and you're going to believe me and that's it. Part is Biggie again. We got the shit, Mac tight, brass knuckles and flashlights, the heaters in the two seaters, two eleven, with two me two meters, but he has it spelled like Midas, M I D A S. Um so that's another eleven and the and the like you know, imp implies the Midas touch, which Archangel Michael said we had when he appeared with the wheel, card number ten or one. Um Wait, hold on a second. Did I skip a line? We got the shit, Mac type, brass knuckles, and flashlights. Oh, I didn't even see the flashlight part before. The heaters and the two seaters were two meters. Senoritas, kiss rings when you meet us. P. Diddy, run the city. Show no pity. I'm the witty one. Frank's the crook from the brook. He's from Brooklyn. Brook, like water. River, maybe. Rolling. Rolling on the river. Don't mind me. I'm sorry. Maddie broke the neck of your coat connect. No respect. Squeeze off till y'all diminish. Shout outs for 20 minutes until we finish. Venice took the loot. Escaped in the coop. So Venice again. Break bread with the kiss. Panero. Chic. Luke. Luke. Huh. Black Rob joined the mob. It ain't no replacing him. Niggas step up with just Mason them. So that's that the, the other singer that was in the um song yesterday mace m a s e is the word there placing them in funerals criminals turned aroused the brick city that's newark i mentioned newark the other day when i was talking about joe clark in the movie lean on me nobody come off like p diddy business wise i play men hide money on the island of cayman mm -hmm. another one Thing with the islands you all just betray men you screaming i position competition another day in the life of the commission ends here with puffy hey yo can you hear me out there hey yo turn me up nobody can hear me out there that's good it's all fucked up now y'all know it's fucked up now right what the fuck i'm gonna do now what i'm gonna do now can y'all hear me out there can y'all hear me out there fuck y'all niggas want to do it's all fucked up now. What I'm going to do, huh? What I'm going to do now. It's all fucked up now. And that is how it ends. And that was our last song in the last part of this video. So, now again, um, make your intentions. Release, release, release what no longer serves you. That's what we do with a full moon. We let go of all the crap that doesn't help us, that doesn't help humanity, that no one needs, doesn't serve anyone, doesn't serve a purpose any longer, although perhaps maybe at one time it did. We're going to let go of all that tonight, tomorrow, uh, the 22nd for some people, depending upon in which hemisphere of the world you are. Um, it's all good. It's all good. It all helps to lighten ourselves as individuals and all of the energy around us. Since I did the Friday daily, technically I'm gone until Sunday with the weeklies unless I'm made to return with some more of this, um, Revelations, as in the book of Revelations, in case nobody caught that, um, and the apocalypse, um, or with all this, uh, <laughs> Biggie and Puffy stuff and it being
Biggie's birthday also on the 21st. Maybe they'll have me come back with some sort of life after death something. Anyway, you guys will see me again soon. You know this. And I hope that you enjoyed this reading lesson, me talking crazy, however you'd like to refer to it. Namaste, angels.